So we, while we wait, if you want to start in any restorative pose, I'm gonna leave this to you. Um, if it's on your back, Supta Baddha Konasana, child's pose. There's so many, so many. Just enjoying the stillness. Calming the mind. Slowing up, down our breath. And I just wanted to read something to you um, that kind of, you know, resonated with me today. Um, presently at, the, at this moment, we are in a rush to get back to normal. But just take this time to see what normal serves you. Okay. Just a few more breaths. I'm gonna hop on my mat. Think, feeling the hips sink into the mat. If you are in child pose, or feeling the heaviness of the earth, if you are on your back. On your next breath, start to come up to all fours. If you were on your back, just roll up. If you were on child's pose, just bring your hips up. Kind of shake your hips here. Wag your tail. Make it feel natural, organic. All right, I was thinking, I decided for practice today is we were going to just go through some poses and open up organically. Just maybe holding just a little bit longer, holding on to this moment, but releasing the breath. On your next breath, inhale with your right arm up, a little balance pose and then lift the left leg up. Wear off those hips. Draw the belly button to spine. And then on your next breath, keeping that left leg lifted, right hand to the mat. Bend that left knee, keeping that left foot flexed. And we're going to lift that left leg up from the hip. So kind of like lifting, if you're squeezing a block between your glute and your heel, and then bring that right left knee to the right knee. And then let's shoot it back up. Squeeze at the top, pause, and then bring the left knee to the right. Let's do two more. Squeeze once you reach the top. And then bring it down. Last one. Hold and squeeze here. Extend that left leg out, right arm up. And let's come into a modified side plank. So right arm to the mat and then open up to the left. Left arm lifts, stacking the shoulders, stacking those hips, tucking that tailbone in, 
few more breaths. And I want you to lift, uh, bring that left arm up and over the head. Nice stretch. All right, let's bring the left hand and left knee down to the mat. Shake it off, we're gonna do the other side. All right, bring right leg out, extend it out, level off those hips, flex the right foot, draw the belly button to spine, and then lift left arm up. Balancing here. Few more breaths. All right, drop a left hand to the mat. And I want you to keep that right leg flexed and now bend the right knee. Kind of like your heel is going to touch that glute. And then lift it up. And then exhale, right knee to left knee. Shoot it back up. Squeeze, squeeze and pause. Bring it back down. Both knees touch. We have two more. Squeeze here. Last one. Knees touch and then bring it back up. Squeeze, hold. Now extend right leg out and then left arm up. Balance, balance and stick here. And let's do this uh, modified side plank. Left hand to the mat, all the way up to the right. Keeping right leg flexed. Arm up. Keeping that belly button drawn into spine. And then bring both hands to the mat. Let's do a couple of cat cows. So drop the belly, inhale, chin up. Tuck it in. Two more. Last one. Curly those toes. Inhale, lift those hips. To down dog of the back. If you want to pedal your down dog, bend one knee or the other, or immediately go into stillness. Organically opening up those hamstrings. All right, this reminded me about um, the request. So inhale, right leg up, step it in, low lunge. Coming into a low lunge here, runner's lunge. Sinking in into that right hip. And let's do half split. So swing those hips back. Take a breath here. You can either uh, keep that right foot down to the mat or bringing those toes up. Inhale, coming up to this runner's lunge. Sink in, and then exhale, swing those hips back, half split. Ardha Hanumanasana. Last one, coming up, runner's lunge. And swing back to half split. All right, we're gonna switch legs here. So plant the hands to the mat, lift that left knee, and then bring it back. Let's pause and hold for a plank for a few breaths. A little bit of core work. Popping out between the shoulders, pressing those toes down to the mat and heels back. Next breath, exhale, down dog. Let that head go here. Inhale, left leg up. Let's do the other side. And then step it in, runner's lunge. Drop that right knee down, uncurl that right foot. Just sink in into those hips. 
Next breath and half split, swing those hips back. Three breaths here. Inhale, coming up. Runners, lunge. And swing those hips back. Three breaths here. We have one more to do. And then inhale, coming up. Last one. Exhale, swing it back. Drop the head. Let go of that head even here. Inhale, coming up. Step it back. High plank. Few breaths here. Actually about five. Let's warm up that core. Three more breaths. On this last breath, I want you to either go into down dog and if you want to do a chaturanga, go ahead. So coming up, exhale, low plank, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Is, uh, bring that right hand up and then let's grab that left ankle, kind of like a twist, a down dog, little twist here. You're kind of peeking over that left shoulder or under the left shoulder, sorry. And let's release, let's do the other side. Right hand to the mat and then the left, grabbing the outside of that right ankle, peeking through underneath the armpit. And release, looking up to the top of the mat, hop, step, jump, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's hang here in this forward fold, just naturally, organically. So if you need to bend the knees as much as you need to, kind of resting your ribs, your chest on your thighs, Remember, I'm calling this like we're just opening up organically. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, look up, reach up. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step it back, high plank. Working a little bit of core here. If you want to take your vinyasa, you can. If not, hold this plank for five breaths. Three more breaths. Four. Five. Exhale, down dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, look up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up, look up, reach up. And then exhale to Tadasana. Hands to the side. Bring the shoulders away from the ears, drawing the belly button to spine. A nice little squeeze between the shoulder blades. Inhale, arms up, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back. Five breaths or take your vinyasa. One, two, three, Four, five, exhale, down dog. Next breath, inhale, right leg up, 
bend that knee, open up, opening up that right hip. You could um, kind of wiggle your ankle here, your toes, but making sure those shoulders are square to the mat, keeping that right leg lifted. On your next breath, let's extend the right leg out. And then exhale, sip it in. Warrior one, spin that back heel down. Nice bend, uh, bend in the right knee. Let's inhale, coming up. The Madrasana one. Few breaths here. And let's lengthen the right knee. And then let's sneak it down again. Inhale, lengthen, right knee. And then bend the right knee. Interlace the hands back behind you. We're going to come into humble. And exhale, right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Your hands could stay in your low back if you want to lift those arms. Let go of the head, looking back at the uh, left foot. Without that slingshot, release those hands. Let's do this little lunge twist, left hand to the mat, and then open up, twist to the right. All right, hands down to the mat. Step it back, high plank. Your vinyasa or not, five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, down dog. All right. Inhale, left leg up. Reach up. Now bend that left knee. If you were Flexing the foot, let it go. Roll that ankle, move those toes. Square the shoulders off. And extend that left leg, three-legged dog, square those hips. And then exhale, step it in, warrior one. Spin that back heel, bend that left knee. Let's use that core. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Bring those shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lengthen, and then bend that left knee. Take it just a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen that left knee. Sink in. Interlace the hands back behind you, and let's humble this baby. Left shoulder inside that left knee. Next breath. Let's release and low lunge twist. Right hand to the mat, and then open up, twist to the left. All right, hands down to the mat. Frame that left foot, step it back. Let's take a vinyasa here, or you can hold your plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Let's look to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Keep fingers grabbing your toes. Kind of uh, separate your feet about hips width apart. Grabbing your toes with your peace fingers, halfway lift. Lengthen that spine. Exhale, start to fold here. Bend those elbows. Let go of the head.
Paragyusasana. All right, let's release here and then let's come up one vertebrae at a time. Keeping that belly button into spine, gentle bend on the knees. And then step it in, Tadasana. All right, we're gonna open up to the left, kind of like Pasriya Padatanasana. Or this five-pointed star here. Just close your eyes, take a moment here. And then bring the arms to the side. We're gonna come into triangle pose to the back of the mat. So the, the right foot parallel to the back of the mat, those left toes point them to the back of the mat and start to hinge on that left knee. Warrior two, let's hold here, tuck in that tailbone. Lengthen that left knee. Scoop that tailbone in here. And then start to reach to the back of the mat, hips back, three kanasana. And then left hand drops, and that's where you are. It's at the shin, the mat. You can grab your toe, kind of like peace fingers. Gaze is either down at that left toe, or if your neck is feeling pretty good, looking up. Keeping that tailbone tucked in, putting weight on the outer edge of the right foot. All right, we're gonna come in to this revolve triangle. So bring, we're gonna face the, the back of your mat, frame that left foot, so windmill both hands down. Your back foot's gonna come up. So square the hips, square those shoulders, plant that right heel down. Find that length here, and then exhale. So right hand inside the right foot, and then let's twist it to the left. Or if you're feeling pretty good, that right hand, you can bring it outside that left foot. Few breaths. All right, we're going to windmill our hands back up to Pasarita Parasanasana with that five-pointed star. So use that core windmill alarm. Five-pointed star. Yeah, nice. All right, back to warrior two to the top of the mat. So right knee starts to point to the front of the mat, toes left, parallel to the back of the mat. Few breaths. And start to lengthen that right knee. Scoop that tailbone in. Reach, reach forward. Pause. And then drop that right hand where it lands. Remember your gaze. Either down at the right foot or up at the ceiling. What kind of ceiling do you guys have? I have that old fashioned popcorn stuff in my house still. Anyway. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> All right, let's frame that right foot. Square off those shoulders, square off those hips. That back heel comes up and out plant it. Left hand in, either inside the right foot or outside to revolve triangle. Open up to the right. Woo, I'm on this carpet, my belt. This is a belly pose, yeah. So swing those right hips back. All right, let's use that core. Windmill those hands back up to Pasarita or five pointed star. And let's step it up to the top of the mat, Tadasana. 
All right, we're going to come into extended side angle to the back of the mat. So again, five when it starts. Back, uh, your right foot parallel to the back of the mat, start to pivot. The left, toes, toes are pointing to the back, and then left elbow above that left knee, right arm up and over. And if you are feeling pretty good, bring that left hand to the inside of that left foot. Next breath, we're gonna come into a low lunge to the back of the mat. So bring hands, bring that left foot, bring that right knee down, low lunge here. Inhale, arms up. And then bringing those palms together and then exhale, bring them to your heart. Let's do a little peaceful here. So right arm up, left hand behind the low back to support it. And then we're going to revolve this low lunge. So right elbow outside the right uh, left knee. And then come in into prayer hands. Looking over that left shoulder. If you want to, you could lift that right knee up. So curl the, the right toes. Few breaths here. All right, let's come up to five when it starts to the top of the mat to get back to the front. So windmill, five when it star. Let's do this on the other side. So right toes face the front of the mat, the left parallel to the back. And let's bring, come into extended side angle, parzo panasana. Left arm up and over. You could use it as a shelf. The right hand as a shelf. Or you could bring that right hand inside the right foot. Again, looking up at that left hand or down at the mat. Few more breaths. And then frame that right foot, low lunge. Drop that left knee. <laughs> Inhale, arms up, palms together, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Let's come into peaceful. Left arm up, right hand supports you. Just finding some space, opening up. All right, so left elbow outside that right knee. Let's hook it. Low lunge twist. Your hands come into prayer. Uh, finding that sternum, the center of the sternum, looking over that right shoulder. If you want to, start to curl those left toes and lift that left knee. Okay, let's inhale. Let's come up five when it starts to the top of the mat to the side. All right, we'll meet you there. And then we're going to come into Tadasana to the top of the mat. Take a breath here. Let's take one vinyasa. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step that back. Remember, you want to work that core. Hold your plank, five breaths. If not, exhale, low plank. Inhale. Up dog, exhale, down dog. All right, inhale, right leg up, and bring right knee to right elbow or armpit. Bring it high. Exhale, shoot it back up, three legged dog. Let's do that again. This mountain climber, shoot it back out. One more time. Exhale, three-legged dog. 
and then let's bring it in, up, bring, down dog, and then look up to the top of the mat, hop, step, jump. Inhale, coming up, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up, mountain pose. And then exhale, hands to the side. All right, and then from here, we're going to come into our pyramid pose. So interlace the hands back behind you. And I come in into reverse prayer, or you can grab your elbows. And we're going to pivot our feet and look to the back of the mat. Square those hips, square those shoulders. Some of your feet are about like railroad tracks, about three to four feet apart. And then exhale, forward fold. Amy, I'm glad you requested hamstrings. Because <laughs> it was in my thoughts. A few breaths. Use that core. Actually, let's release our hands from prayer. Bring the right foot. And then hold that friendly gun, that friendly fire. Point that gun. Use that core, let's inhale, let's come all the way up. Bring those hands to the waist. We're gonna step to the back of the mat, kind of like in this balance pose, the standing staff pose. So bring that left knee up, balance here. Nice long lengthening in the back. Engage the right quad. Let's open up that left knee to the left. Pause and hold here. We're gonna come into tree pose. So your version of tree, I'm gonna bring my heel on the inside of the inner thigh, the right inner thigh. And then find my balance here. Find all four corners. Yes, get a really good foundation so when we start to grow our branches, they don't droop down. It might be windy, but they're not going to fall down. All right, start to bring that tree down, hands to heart center. Release that left leg. Bring it up, balancing here one more time, and then step it back where we came from. And let's pivot. We're gonna do this on the other side. So pivot, look to the top of the mat. Coming into our pyramid pose, looking to the top of the mat. Square those hips, square those shoulders. And reverse prayer. Or grab those elbows. Exhale, forward fold. Let go of the head. On our next breath, let's release your prayer hands or release your elbows, frame that left foot. Make a gun with your hands. And then inhale, use that core, come all the way up. Bring those hands to the waist, release. Let's come up. We're going to come up with that right knee bent and the standing staff pose. All right, next breath. We're going to open up that right knee to the side, to the right. Your version of tree pose. I like to bring my right heel inside the inner thigh. It could be on your calf. You could do toe stand. Okay, find that engagement. 
Draw the belly button to spine. Black quad is engaged. Get that foundation and start to grow your branches. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. And let's start to bring your hands down to prayer. And then release your tree, right knee, standing stop pose. And Tadasana, let's release. Let's do a vinyasa. Inhale, arms up, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then travel back, take your vinyasa. Or use that breath and hold it for five breaths in your plank. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's look up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's come up, look up, reach up. And again, open up to the left, facing me, five pointed star. Let's interlace the hands back behind you. You want, want toes in, heels out. Start to forward fold. And we're gonna hinge the hips here, kind of like um, a high skandasana. So hinge to the left. Lengthen that left knee and then hinge over to the right. Let's do a few more of these. And meet me in the middle. You can release those hands to the mat. Underneath those shoulders, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. So with your peace fingers, grab your toes. Find that length and start to forward fold. The crown of the head, kind of reaching toward the, and the mat. And this is the time, if you want to, you could invert. I'm gonna stay in my forward fold, or there's a couple of things you could do. Or if you wanna go upside down, if you have room in your living room, wherever you are. And the other, I'm going to do just a little stretch here. We'll give others like five to eight breaths. So left hand un underneath that left shoulder, and then twist over to the right. Keeping those hips square, stacking those shoulders, and let's switch right hand to the mat underneath that right shoulder, and then open up to the left. And inverters, if you want to come down, if you're doing that twist, let's come down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's start to walk our hands to the top of the mat, low lunge. And let's step it in, chair pose. So uh, both feet to the top of the mat, bend those knees, inhale, coming up. Utkatasana. Few breaths here. We're going to hold about eight breaths. This is two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I like two more. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Keeping that right leg planted, lift that left leg, step it in, back to crescent lunge on Janelle. Open up. We're going to go through this flow. I'm going to try and get all of those poses, combine them into a flow. Press at lunge here. 
Hands down to the mat. If I forget one, oh, I'm so sorry. Lengthen that right knee. Let's twist, left hand to the mat, open up, twist. And then bring it back down. Let's come up to warrior two. Coming up, inhale, arms up, and then open up, V Balladasana two. Coming into a quick peaceful here. So right arm up, left hand either slides down that left leg or binding. Start to lengthen that right knee, arms out like a T, coming into triangle. So reach, reach forward. Dropping that right hand to the mat, triangle pose. All right, we're gonna come into a quick half moon. So start to look at the top of the mat, bring that left hand, the one that's up to the waist, Bend that right knee and step it up, half moon. Just a little quick transition. When we step it back, we're gonna come into ex uh, extended side angle. So start to bend that right knee, extended side angle. Left arm up and over. Inhale, coming up again, one peaceful here. And then coming into a low lunge. Inhale, coming up, crescent. Palms together and we're gonna twist over to the right. So hook left elbow outside that right knee. Look down at that right foot, step it in. Chair twist. Square those hips off. So look down at your feet, your knees, to square up those hips. You breath here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Take your vinyasa or plank. Exhale, down dog. New breath here. Inhale, left leg up. We're going to step it in. Low, up crescent lunge. Inhale, coming up. High lunge. Find that length in that left knee. Start to lengthen that left knee. And then let's sink in. Hands down to the mat, and again, lengthen, and let's twist. So right hand to the mat, and then twist it. Bring left hand down. Let's come up. B to a warrior two, open up, warrior two. Find that space here, sink it in, into the hips. Lengthen that left knee. Let's find a peaceful here as well. And then bring those arms out like a T. Coming into triangle pose. So swing those right hips to the back, reach into the front. And then left hand where it lands. And half moon is coming up. That's what's on the menu. All right, start to bend that left knee. Bring right hand to the waist. Left hand upside to the left side of the mat. Let's come up half moon. Stack it here. Flex and spread those right toes. Next breath. Coming into an extended side angle. So start to bend that left knee, step back with the toes. Whoops, extended side angle. New breath.
our lips, our two frame, that left foot, low lunge, coming into a high lunge. Arms together, and then you exhale as you twist to the left. Hook right elbow outside that left knee. Find that space. And if it's available, start to look over that left shoulder. Now we're going to step it up, start to look down at that left foot. Start to look where you're going to be going. Step it in, a chair twist. So square those hips off, align the toes, the knees, keeping that twist. Few more breaths here. And let's exhale, forward fold, fun. Release everything here. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's take your vinyasa. So exhale, step it back. Fold your plank or take your vinyasa. I will meet you in dumb dog. I'm going to switch my mat around so you guys can watch. I'm going to find my down dog. Step it in through seated. So jump through and let's do a dandasana. So extend both legs in front of you. Let's find that length first. So spread those foot bones if you need to. So spread the flesh. Hands to the side. Let's lengthen here. We're going to come into Paschimottanasana, which is a seated forward fold. If you need to, you could bend the knees as much as you need to when you do this forward fold. Exhale, forward fold, grabbing your, it could be your shins, ankles. Find that length. You want a flat back here. You want to grab the outside of the feet, you can. Exhale, fold. Start to let release the neck. Find that neutral spot in the neck. Right hand, start to look up your toes. Peace fingers, grabbing those right toes. As we come up, left leg stays down. Inhale, bring that right leg up. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna twist here. So left hand is gonna grab the outside of the right foot, release the peace fingers, and then twist to the right, looking over that right shoulder, keeping those that right foot flex, toes spread apart, keep it active. And let's come back, bring it back up, grab those right toes, release that grip with that left hand. Do you have space in the back? We're going to roll to the back, grabbing the right foot, lean back. Nice stretch here for the hamstrings. Release those toes, bend the right knee, grab the knee or the shin. When we come up, we're going to come up with that right foot planted. Right knee is bent. Let's come up. Yes. The right foot is planted. All right. Let's uh, bring left hand, grab the calf. Right hand, bring it inside that right bent knee. And then just reach in, finding that space. And if you want to, you could stay here. If you want to, there's a bind here. So their thumb is up. We're going to bring our thumb down, wrap, grab, bind behind you. If you need to find that space, start to look 
to that left shoulder so you can find that bind and then square out those shoulders. And then forehead down. Okay, let's release here. Release the bind, keeping that right knee bent. Let's come into tree, seat at tree. All right, so drop that right knee down. So the right foot is touching the inner thigh. Again, find that length and let's forward fold. You can grab the foot, bind around the foot. You can grab the calf, ankle, whichever is nearest you. Find that neutral neck, release the neck. And then inhale, come up, let's release, let's shake it off. So extend right leg out, let's do a quick, just shake, and then do a Navasana pose. So palms together, that was a quick shake in Navasana. <laughs> All right, extend the feet, few breaths. You can bend the knees or extend them out. All right, let's release back to this um, extending legs to the mat, Dandasana. Let's find that length, the sits bones, and gentle but forward fold, just for a breath or two. Some more time. All right. With your peace fingers, with the left peace fingers, grab the left toes. Inhale, coming up. Left leg, right leg stays down. All right, let's do that twist. So right hand, grab the outside of that left foot. Release the peace fingers, twist to the left. Your next breath, let's come back up. Find those peace fingers again and the toe, release the right hand. Let's bring that left leg to the back. Keeping that left leg extended, erect it up. Our right, next breath. Oh, and let's start to release the peace fingers. Bend that left knee. Grab the knee, keeping that left knee bent. When we come up, that left foot is gonna be planted inside that inner thigh. Come up. All right, with your right hand, grab the calf. Left hand, bring it inside that left knee, reaching here. You could stay right here, just finding that space or a bind. So thumb is up, thumb down, reach back behind you. You want to reach for that bind, start to look behind you, and then reach over with your right hand, find that left hand, and then square up those hips and the shoulders. And then dropping the head down. And let's release the bind or reaching towards the front. Let's come into the seated tree. So drop that left knee down. That uh, left foot is inside the inner thigh. And let's lengthen, arms up, and then exhale, forward fold. One of my all-time favorite stretches here. Okay, and then let's release, inhale, coming up, let's break this pose. And then bring both feet in, so Baddha Konasana. So both feet, the soles of their feet are touching. And let's open up your feet like a book, so the outer edges are now touching. Use those elbows to press and open up those hips, the crown of the head towards the feet. Inhale, coming up. Last Navasana for those people that wanted to more 
works in the core. So Navasana pose before we come down and maybe do a little back bending. So your knees could be bent. Find that length in your back or extend the knees. No rounding. If you're rounding, just bring your knees in, tuck it and find that tuck. One, two, three, four, five, and let's hold canoe for five. One, keeping that low back press to the mat. Three, four, five, release. Long body stretch here. Take a nice cleansing breath. And I'm gonna leave this up to you. Um, like you could do wheel or we could do bridge. I'm gonna do one bridge. Then my knees are bent, making sure that I could graze my heels. I start to lift my hips, interlace the hands underneath and start to shimmy those elbows in, keeping those hips lifted. And remember in bridge pose, we try to bring our chest to chin, not chin to chest. Keeping those knees straight up, your knees should be pointing towards the ceiling as well. And if anyone else wants to take a wheel, go for it. Start to release the hands, place them to the mat, lift the heels up, toes are pressing the mat, and one vertebrae at a time. Bring the spine back down. And let's find, um, before we go into happy baby, let's um, bring our knees in. Let's grab our feet to the inside. And then unfurl that low back. All right, keeping that low back press to the max, that tailbone, keeping it unfurled, start to come into happy baby. Pressing the feet down. This reverse Malasana squat. And if shoulder stand is in your practice, you can do your shoulder stand. For others, let's release our happy baby, bringing our knees together. And we're still tucked into this little ball. Let's do a little stretch arms out to the side, drop the knees up to the right and look over to the left. And let's do the other side, bringing our knees up and over. Bring them over to the left and your gaze is to the right. All right, bring your knees back up. If there's any other pose that you just need to get out of you, Go ahead and do that. If not, your Shavasana, the most important pose of the day. So get those last jiggles out. You could bring your feet in, like your toes are touching, and then let them go.
I like to press my shoulders down to the mat and then squeeze my shoulder blades and then not drop everything. Kind of give me a little heart opening. You can spread as wide as you want to. Honoring the silence, the stillness. Anyway, your most favorite slide. And then coming up to seated, pressing yourself back up. Taking a moment of silence for prayer or meditation. Thank you so much for joining us on Thrive Online. Can't wait to see you all soon. Namaste.